I'm uh, Mark Eddy, farm in uh, Paris, Ontario. Small farm, 110 acres is the main farm. With everything rented, it's about 600 acres, uh, 70 beef cows, uh, and background all the calves. I didn't really get myself involved in that. Uh, my local uh, dealer rep uh, entered me into the contest, which I thought was a waste of time, but uh, it's proving not to be. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, it's. Uh, he called me one day. He had entered me in the spring, and then I was cutting oats one day, and he called me and said, uh, "You know that piece of corn that over that one farm there?" He says, "You haven't taken it off, and that's the one that's entered in the 9807 that's entered in the contest." And I said, "Yeah." And he says, "Well, let's weigh it up." And I thought, "Wow!" I kind of said, "You know, we're wasting our time here, and other people are going to have a lot bigger yields than me." And anyway, he said, uh, "No, we want to do it, and it only takes a few minutes. It's not a big deal." So. He said, call me when you start. So then we called him that morning that we started and he showed up after lunch and we were just kind of in a particular spot in the field and actually it must have been one of the poorer areas because it yielded more than what the plot was. So I think I have an advantage over a lot of farmers in the sense that, uh, I, well, I guess it's the same as dairy farmers. I, I, taking, hay, taking land out of hay and moving them into corn I think is a big thing. And we seem to get a yield boost, not just the nitrogen cutter, we seem to get it seem to get a big boost out of just that rotation as long as you know and with the grid sampling and stuff with uh, keeping our nutrient levels balanced instead of depleting them with the hay and then going into corn like we used to do um, I think we've been able to get the big yield boost going doing that rotation. This video is brought to you by farms.com